What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Gaming with the Broscast, episode 170. My name is Harrison. I am joined by my brother Nick. As always, what's up? It's here, Nick. It, Zelda is finally here after four years of waiting. Doesn't, it still doesn't feel real. <laughs> doesn't? Yeah, it, it still doesn't. Yeah, you're right. It doesn't feel real at all. Yeah. Um. So before we before we do dive into Zelda, we're we're just gonna kind of preface the episode and, and we're going to be talking a majority about zelda we're going to talk about mm-hmm. the very um like the early game part of zelda we're going to talk about the great plateau so any spoiler related stuff in the great plateau we're going to talk about so if you haven't finished that area please you know do and come back um and then we're really not that far in the story either so we're, we're, we really can't spoil anything for you as far as like that what happens in the story um right. so what we're going to do is just talk about some of the things we've seen um, again it could be it could be spoiler ish if you have not played the game yet or haven't gotten as far as we have um mm-hmm. so just keep that in mind but um but yeah we'll we'll talk about kind of our, our random encounters and, and stuff we've seen and you know just the just our overall you know consensus of the game and, and how we like it so far so Story, stories from hyrule if you will yeah <laughs> all right but before we dive into that um nick how was uh how was your week it's pretty good, um, dude. Just a lot of anticipation, a lot of a lot of reading Zelda reviews and impressions and all that stuff. So the week went by pretty fast because because work is is or was pretty busy last week, so that was good. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I, I had a good week. <laughs> it's cool. hard to. Uh, really Je- Jesse in the chat, that. he said, uh, "Hey guys, just popping in to say good luck with the stream. The only thing I don't, the only thing I don't like about the game is how it started." Was it just a little bit like too slow? Because I mean, that maybe uh, I understand that. Yeah, it, th- there is a lot of like, um, there's a, there's a lot of Zelda like kind of like talking at the beginning, and she'll stop you every every ten seconds. Really, yeah, but maybe something. maybe that's what he's maybe that's what he's saying is like the very beat. But yeah. I love I love that stuff. It, it it felt very ominous and like kind of built up to what we yeah, knew yeah. was going to happen. So I, I personally loved it, but. But yeah, I, I can understand if, if it is a little bit slow to get to get started compared to Breath of the Wild, which takes like two minutes to get into it. I mean, yeah, it, I mean, it's like, it's like 20 minutes versus two. Exactly. exactly. So yeah, I, I, I get what you're saying. Yeah. Um, but um, yeah, totally reasonable. But sorry, Nick. Uh, what, what were you saying? How, how was what, how did how was your week? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, it was good. It was good. Uh, watched uh, my wife's sister's dog this weekend. Yeah, so we. Yeah, that was fun, and then had to like deep clean the house after we left. So, <laughs> do you, is is, is animals ever, anything y'all ever thought about getting since y'all moved in? Not not really, because because she's allergic to. Oh, dogs. okay, gotcha. So it makes it a little bit easier to to make that decision. Yeah. Um, maybe if she wasn't, we would consider it. But every time we we watch an animal for a weekend, we're like. Oh. Maybe we shouldn't get a dog. You know, maybe it's not. Yeah, I, I think yeah, after yeah. ours inevitably pass away, I'm gonna lay up on the animals for for quite a while. Just yeah, I mean, I love them. I love them to death. But like the fur is, especially our, our German Shepherd Husky. It's just it's so much, dude. Like it's impossible to. It's impossible to, to keep off. up. Like yeah. I'll, we'll sit there be eating dinner, and I'm like, oh, there's there's a there's a hair in my food, and just just because it was circling around in the air, you know. Yeah. Um. So yeah, it's just it's just con- yeah the constant cover and hair is is a little much. Um, and then like you have to you know anytime you ever want to go anywhere, you always have to yeah think about it. Yeah, think yeah, about yeah. either boarding them or having someone come and stay. Uh, as the <laughs> of, uh... <laughs> as he's in the background here. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, if you guys aren't keen on getting one, or yeah, just I, I wouldn't. <laughs> yeah. his, his name is Bane. He's a he's an English bulldog which they don't yeah. shed right they're they're pretty not, not really but he i mean he, he definitely sheds a little bit i think because yeah. he like he slobbers so much that he will yeah. slobber on something and then he'll rub his fur against it or rub his hair against it and then it'll kind of like shed that way okay um but yeah so he he was there thursday night so he stayed up he stayed up with me until midnight nice but yeah we, yeah, we, yeah we they're, they're good they're good snugglers for yeah sure. yeah for He's, sure yeah, he's he's really cute. Yeah, how's your how's your week though? It was it was good. Um, 
You know, it was just the anticipation. Anticipation. <laughs> anticipation. Uh, the anticipation of just Zelda. Um, you know, mm-hmm. just just what just you know trying to stay off online as much as possible so I didn't get things spoiled because the game you know the game had leaked and all that stuff and Nintendo was super cracking down. Oh yeah. Um, you know, banning banning people on on Twitch. You know submitting strikes and stuff like that uh you know rightfully so you know if, if i was to get zelda early somehow I, i'm going off the grid and i'm, I'm, I'm gonna play not, it but i'm going off the grid online. yeah, yeah. Like, uh, i would text you and be like oh my god dude um, like, i got it i got it i'd be like how did you get it and how can i get it <laughs> yeah i got two copies um <laughs> but uh but yeah just just trying to stay offline as much as possible uh because mm-hmm. it, it is hard but um and then obviously, like, you know, watching the reviews and stuff and it just, I mean, almost, almost getting scoring higher than original Breath of the Wild, which is it's, it's really hard for a sequel to surpass the original most of the time. Yeah. Um, but all the reviews yeah, seemed, true. you know, just loving the game, you know, it's an absolute improvement, you know, all that stuff. And then, yeah, just uh, Thursday, Thursday night, watching watching the Treehouse live for a little bit. Um, I was actually able to uh, at, at right at midnight. I got a uh, a, not- a notification from um, hot, the Hot Stuck app that we've been using to try to get it, our hands on a collector's edition. And yeah. I, I got on um, pre ordered one just fine from Walmart. And I was like, you know what? Because I tried to call you after that, but but your your uh, phone was on silent. I was on the yeah, so I was like, well, let me let me see if I can, it's like if I can get on again. And there's another one. I'm just going to pre order it. And I was able to get back on and got another one. Um, I'm glad you did. Yeah. So that that one's that one's I've got. So I've got those two that have came. And then uh, Friday morning, or if we just want to mm-hmm. talk about launch day, just jump into that. Uh, yeah. I got up with my son, took him to school, um, stood out stood outside that line of with at Target um, for about 20 minutes, and there, there was probably about 15 people in line with me. Um, that I, that would not look like they were going to be purchasing Zelda, which is which is cool, right? Um, and then we we all we, so, someone in the front made a comment about it, and it was like an older lady, and she was getting it for her son. But uh, as soon as she said that, everyone was like, "Yep, we're in, we're in line too." So it was just about ten people, ten fifteen people walking straight back to the electronics. Um, the guy's just standing there. He's like, "What can I do for you guys?" He's like, oh, "We're like Zelda." <laughs> <laughs> Zelda, he's Zelda, like, Zelda. Every, he's like, raise your hand if you want the collector's edition. And we all raised our hand. He's like, all right, I'll be right back. So he, he came back with like a cart and it was like, he had like 20 of them. I was like, yes. Dang. So, like, like, they so just awesome. Had they had them in stock. But. Yeah. He's like, I, he's like, I'm so surprised we got them, but we, but we got them. Um, and I did ask him though, after, after I got my copy, I went and just went over to like the game section. and was just kind of looking around and I came back after it was gone. I was like, Hey, can I, can I buy a second one? Like I was going to get one for my brother. And he's like, no, it's one per person. And I was like, okay. I mean, I get that. Yeah, and I was just going to cancel the Walmart one, but um, turns out once I got back in the car to cancel my <laughs> order, it came in. So I've got an extra copy of the Clutch Edition. So um, yeah, I, have any... I guess a good thing you didn't get another one at Target. Yeah, exactly. Then I'd be up four. Yeah, four. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess I'm just going to take it back to to Walmart, and and hopefully, I mean, I'm, I'm sure they'll be able to take it back. Yeah, uh, yeah, I, I feel like Nintendo like like stealthily like stocked up a bunch for the launch yeah um because like it was so like so hard to get beforehand yeah. even when it went up for pre-orders like initially it was it was almost impossible but i'm yeah i'm glad they really stocked up for yeah i mean i think i figure they would i mean same with like mm-hmm. the, the the switch models like i, mean, yeah, I think you yeah. could still you could, i think you could still buy those yeah. um which is good i mean i you know i i in a world where like the scalping is, it seems like it's kind of starting to dwindle down with as much stuff as you know Nintendo is putting out product wise. Like it's it's good to see that because if you, like if you want it, like you should just be able to get it. it. I shouldn't have to fight on the internet for days to to, to get something. Um, yeah, but uh, especially something that's like mass produced. It's not like a and there's, there's no statue or anything like that. So um, yeah, it's pretty. I mean, arguably pretty easy to to reproduce. It's yeah. Just a, a, an art book and what what is it the four like the four the four uh, the four pins and i think they're i think they're pins. like the four abilities you get in the game okay. um i'm not quite sure uh then you get like a steel poster which is pretty pretty nice um and then i think that's it 
in the game the game the game itself like the game case and then you get a steel book too steel book yeah um, like, i love i love the steel books like the fire emblem engage one yeah they're super, super cool. nice yeah they're really cool looking um so yeah that's what i did I, then i then i came back and um i had ordered everything else from best buy um including the game <laughs> so i uh went back home and started playing it and um you know i got the text around like 9 45 hey your order's ready mm-hmm. and i didn't leave the house until like 11 i was just engrossed and oh. engrossed in the game and then I went and picked everything else up, so I've got to re- so I've got to return the game to Best Buy. Um, just and I offered it to my daughter. And I was like, "Hey, you, do you want this?" She was like, "No, Zelda sucks." I'm like, "You suck, but whatever." Uh, um, <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna take that back. But um, but yeah, you know, I got got me a nice little Zelda fanny pack. Uh, got a yeah. nice little like art print from Target and Best Buy, and then the Amiibo. The Amiibo is like so cool looking. It's probably one of my favorite ones. Yeah, that it's, they made it's, so far. It's a really awesome Amiibo. Yeah. So, but yeah, it, it was a great, great day. I took the day off, of course, played all day. You know, it was it was great. Love it. I I, I might as well have taken the day off because <laughs> I, I did the, the digital midnight release yeah. and played probably until three three thirty a.m. Yeah, and then woke <clears> up, <throat> you know, had breakfast, all that stuff, and then and then went to work. But I, I set up my my other switch dog on my desk so i hooked it up to my my monitor so i yeah. had one monitor for work and one for for zelda so i played that for a uh, a reasonable portion of the day and then, <laughs> then at, at five i went to best buy and picked up the pro controller and the amiibo yeah and they i mean they had a bunch of they had a bunch of orders back there oh yeah behind, them, behind the counter like yeah when i when i went around like 11 ish um i got in line he's like you here for you here for zelda i was like yes sir He's like, oh, cool, cool. He's like, yeah, we probably had like 100 people come through the line so far. I was like, good God. That's crazy, man. Because, and I was like, and why didn't y'all do a midnight release? Like, come on. But it is what it is. Yeah, Best Buy's kind of weird about that. Because I, I did actually call GameStop to see if, if they were doing a midnight release. Because I, I was like, hey, like maybe I can get it a little bit early. Like mm-hmm. maybe they'll do one at 9 p.m. or 10 p.m. or something like that. And they, they were doing a midnight release, but it was like, it was one of those things where you go in before they before they close, like at eight or nine, and you get your you get your ticket, and then you go back at ten, and then you wait in line until until midnight and get it then. So it's hey, buddy. Yeah, I think I think us being out late on the, that's like the unfortunate thing about midnight releases on the East Coast is we actually have to wait until midnight. It's um, not like nine p.m. like it is on uh, exactly yeah. Because I, I was watching one, one of the YouTubers I watched. He was he lives in um wisconsin um and i think they're they're what like an hour behind us i think uh yeah i think so so yeah he he got his at 11 but um yeah yeah i, I haven't been, I, I was hoping for one because I, I you know i have not been to a midnight release since zelda you know in, in the switch launch which is which was huge mm-hmm. um but but yeah I was, I was hoping they would do one but it, it is what it is my, my best buy is not the greatest i, I don't know their yeah. their their stock is always like super low and everything. It's like their game sections is like always a mess. But you know, whatever. Yeah. All but right. um, yeah. Let's uh. I think the Did only news check? story I was able to find is Hollow Knight. Um, it was confirmed by their marketing director. I can't remember his name off the top of my head, but um, he said the game is not releasing in the first half. So. Um, yeah, I mean that that's yeah. I, like expected at this point exactly and, and quite frank like good like i, I do not need another 40 hour <laughs> yeah another 40 hour metroidvania game to play through mm-hmm. uh because zelda's gonna be it for a couple months at least if not more um, yeah this is this is gonna be a really long yeah really long game i, I really want to take my time with, yeah with gears yeah like, ah, so yeah let, let's let's get into it <laughs> let's talk about it okay just just right from the beginning can we talk about just the just the white text on the black background, dude. Tears of the kingdom. Perfection, perfect. perfect. Literally perfect. Like that, that it gave me chills. It, did, dude, it did. I, I, as soon as, yeah, I'm in for it. yeah, you just and, and for those, I guess, I guess if you're listening and you don't, you haven't played it yet. Um, you 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 literally fire the game up and it goes right into it. There's no start, start new game, nothing. It just goes right into it. I don't it's, even know what the title screen looks like when you back out of the game because. Uh, I do, I do, because I, cl- I did close it out. Um, it's just, yeah, it's just like a normal title screen. Like, I think it's got, okay. like, the, the background and stuff. Um, and then, obviously, you, you get, like, a title card, you know, once, um, you know, once you actually dive into the into the world. But, um, mm-hmm. 
yeah, that that opening was flawless. Like it was so good, so good. Yeah, the title um, card was great, and then yeah, you're beneath Hyrule exploring with Zelda, which which is super cool. Like you have your your maxed out hearts. You maxed out hearts, maxed out stamina, and you're like, hmm. <laughs> Am I about to get? Am I about to get Metroided? <laughs> and sure enough, you do. But yeah, I mean, there was. I mean, I, so I, I've heard. I've heard some divisive things online about the beginning. I, I thought it was great. Like I thought the kind of lore dump we got with all the, the Zonai stuff was really yeah, cool. Was cool. Like it really set it really set it up a lot. Yeah, and then like just, I, you know, I have I've never had a problem with like any of the voice acting in, in Breath of the Wild. Um, mm-hmm. But I, I think they did an even better job in this and. uh just hearing like the compassion or, or like the um the enthusiasm out of Zelda's um voice when she you know when she discovers the the zone ice the um uh carvings and you know the the imprisoning yeah, war and stuff like that uh but yeah and it was very you know they, they kind of briefly talk about the um the, is it the malice is that is that the kind of stuff that's kind of or the glo- is it gloom the gloom the gloom that that's yeah, kind of gloom coming up off the floor and mm-hmm. you know all the the slight music touches and stuff like that yeah it's it's so good it's such a it's such the, a great the music opening. was really ominous yeah it's super ominous. That was really cool yeah a little bit a little bit freaky um yeah and then and then next thing you know you're in the you're in the great sky islands which is like the yeah. great plateau of the sky well you, you want to talk about how like creepy ganondorf was when oh, you discover him yeah 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 <laughs> oh my yeah that was freaky yeah, you, like you he, could, he actually looked pretty scary. He yeah, he did. And then oh just like we only got one line from, from Matt Mercer, but man, he sounded so good. Oh he's he's going off. Matt and that's Mercer's like and, and it was him. cool because like he he doesn't sound like Ganondorf does like in that one, you know, in the one trailer where he says, you know, bear witness to the mm-hmm. king's right you know, the king's return. Um he has like that kind of with the gravitas. Yeah, like the you know, the yeah, yes. because you know, because he's you know, like a, a mummy at the time. Yeah. Um but yeah, yeah I, I'm yeah, really super excited cool. to see more of, of Gandorf. Yeah, like that, that's going to be super awesome. Yeah, but yeah, that, that the whole part was cool, and like the whole instance of uh, you know him trying to attack Zelda, and you block him with your Master Sword, and it just comes up your arm, and you see all of your life getting taken oh, yeah, away. Oh, like it's... It shows in the center of the screen, like that, yeah. was, that was pretty like that was yeah. pretty video gamey in a cool way. Yeah, it was awesome. Very, it was very cool. Yeah. But yeah, and then and then you wake up on the Great Plateau. Yeah, and or then the, kind of, the the Great Skyline. Great sorry, Skylands. yeah. D- okay, did you did you think you had missed the shirt at the beginning when you opened the chest and you just had the pants? Uh, or or did you just go with it? I just went with it. Is there is there a shirt? Well, there is a shirt that you get. Like, yeah, I mean, I did. Yeah, I did. I did get that shirt, like the one that's in like the trailer. But I just, I just figured I only saw the one chest. So I was like, okay, well, maybe we'll get the shirt, you know, down the road. And they're just giving us our pants yeah. now. They want, they, they don't want to be in his, his uh, underwear for too long. Too long. <laughs> we'll just have him shirtless for another, yeah. another hour. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that in that first jump, the first jump oh, into the water, so good. And then the, t- the, 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 the real title card, I guess, co- coming up on screen like yeah. that. Oh man, such a moment. Yeah. Such a freaking moment. Yeah. Yeah. And I thought I thought this um the great the great Sky Island area was just as good um as uh you know the Great Plateau. It teaches you everything you need to to know about about Zelda, um, about the world, and then obviously the you know, acquiring the new um abilities, which are super fun to to oh my use. God, dude. They're they're so much better than the abilities in, in Breath of the Wild. For sure. Like, I, I don't miss any of them at all. Like yeah. Ultra Hand and Ascend like Ascend is just so so cool. It's so useful. Like it comes it coming it's coming to clutch for me so many times now. Yeah, yeah. Like it, it can really get you like out of a hairy situation yeah. if you're exploring a cave and you're like, I just want to leave this cave. Mm-hmm. Chances are you can just go up and get out. Yeah. And and you're good to go. It's so, like yeah, that the uh, the Great Sky Islands, like they really did a good job of of letting you experiment with with you know Ultra Hands, with Ascend, with Fuse. Like everyone drops something that you can fuse with. You can fuse with most objects in the world. Yeah, like, minecart or 
a fan oh, yeah. or a rocket. I mean, yeah, it's 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 so dumb, but I don't know. <laughs> I'll talk about what well, I want to talk about for one moment is the whole whole new conversation of like 30 FPS and 60 FPS and this whole like fidelity and everybody wants everything to look so damn good. And while, yes, I mean, like, would we want like Nintendo to be in 4K? Sure. Why not? Do you would we want to run in 60 frames per second? Sure. Why not? But with Nintendo and Zelda, like they they just make it a game like it's it feels like a really fun video game where they where they're actually stepping up the way that they're cre- having these creation tools and stuff like that and allow you to to mess around mess around in our world versus you know other games where yeah it looks beautiful and there's combat and stuff but that's kind of it it's pretty light pretty shallow pretty yeah pretty shallow when it comes to like gameplay and and with this it's just it just it feels like I don't know. It just it just feels really good to like being able to be in that world and just kind of yeah, like have your own creations come to life. Like can't. even when even when the frames drop when I'm in ultra hand, sometimes like, yeah. I don't care because like I'm I'm focused on creating something stupid or something cool and like that that's what's exciting to me. I smooth frames doesn't that's not what makes me excited about a game. It's yeah. the gameplay that makes me excited. And, and and rough frame rate can ruin a game like that that for sure for sure that should be said but it's not the end-all be-all of a good game like people keep making the argument about redfall like oh my god well if you complain about redfall why are you why aren't you complaining about Tears of the kingdom it's like redfall redfall and, sucks even with if, even if it was ran at 60 it's just it's not a fun video game exactly and like tears of the kingdom like yes it would objectively be better if it ran at 60 but it wouldn't change how good of a game it was mechanically. Yeah. And I think that's what's that's what's important in this conversation is that Tears of the Kingdom is, is a really good game. Yeah. And I and I don't I don't know when this whole conversation started, like when it really took off and, and maybe maybe it was at the beginning of this generation. Mm-hmm. But I feel like especially on consoles and stuff, like it's never been like the talk. It's always been okay, how how good is the gameplay? You know, obviously, like you said, if it if it has like some crazy dips, like into the into like the teens, and yeah, like that that sucks, um, and that can that can ruin a good experience. But I mean, gosh, I mean, I I, I genuinely feel bad for people that just focus on frames and that's it. Like, I'd much yeah. like I'm sorry, I'd much rather play a game that's like either locked at thirty or you know m- maybe hits the twenty sometimes and has all these amazing gameplay mechanics. First, you know, versus just playing like your standard adventure, you know, li- very linear adventure game with, with yeah. combat. Right. Like, there's so with, much, with there's so much depth. Combat yeah. No, there's just so much depth to this game, um, <laughs> but that's all I want to say about that. <laughs> yeah. 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 No, no, that, that's a good point. Um, but yeah, I mean, just, just the way they kind of like feed the, the new abilities to you and let you, you know, get, get accustomed to them as much, as much as you can. Um, and like, dude, the uh, maybe jump ahead a little bit, but the shrines are so much better in this game. Oh yeah, yeah, and they're they're a lot better. I feel like most of the time, like the other shrines in the, in Breath of the Wild was just like, okay, get this, get this ball to this area, and you have to either use like the gyroscope to move around a platform or something like that. Where this one, I mean, it's you know, there's, I mean, there's there's so many different variants of, it, yeah. especially with like how you. You know, they're okay. You get this ball from this one area, but that you have to get up there. Um, you, you have to build like, something to build something to to not let you fall off the rail. You know, there's there's a, a bunch of different ways you can do that. So yeah, it's yeah. very cool. I, I get so excited every time the game wants me to build a plane. <laughs> please, please let me look, please give me the give me all the parts of this plane and let me just take off, man. That that like that that part of the of the tutorial islands yeah like near the end when you're when you're going back to when you when you first get the ability to use the um the the the, the plane um yes yeah that was awesome. yeah and, and you just take it and you just glide yeah that's just, super cool so perfect like I've, I've seen some some videos of people like staining like they they would grab other planes with ultra hand and take off with one plane and then what once yeah. that plane stopped working 
they would like attach it and jump over to it. It's like oh, there's, wow. there's so many cool things that you can do. Yeah. When you're flying around the sky, like even I mean, on the ground, obviously we've we've seen some pretty crazy <laughs> creations so far. <laughs> yeah. Some pretty phallic creations, which is so fun. Like of course people go to that, and, and then and then the crucifixion of uh, oh my god, the core like dude, the so Koroks are like just oh. I saw I, I right before we started I saw a video of it was it was Link um on a horse and there was like a carriage and on the carriage was the was the, the cross, cross. The yeah and and the blood moon was rising oh my as, gosh as he was as he was riding him along yeah wow. there's there's so many like I spent um when I went when I went to the depths and we'll we'll talk about the depths in in a second but uh I gone there from from the Great Plateau or yeah from the Great Plateau area. And it landed me there, and it was just, like, a bunch of, like, different stuff I could use to build something. And there was, like, the gloom and stuff all over the ground around me. And so I spent, like, 30 minutes trying to figure out how to build, like, a vehicle. And um, there was, like, these two spiky things. And I thought at first maybe that was supposed to be, like, the... the um, it, what's, what's, what's the term? Um, not the rotors, but... I thought they were supposed to be used to, like, be able to turn the vehicle, but... You actually oh, just okay. you actually just attach one piece from the from the wheel itself to like the block and it'll it'll be able to turn with with like the um the little handle you get. Uh, but right, I spent like right. thirty minutes just creating a vehicle. <laughs> I put spikes and stuff on the wheel, and then I just I just took off, and it was super awesome. But yeah, it's just there's the creation of this game is insane. It's it's just mind mind blowing. It's like yeah. you go into a puzzle and you're like, can I do it this way? Yes, you can. You can. You <laughs> like can. that's like if that's like the theme of the game. Yeah, there's some, like there's some crazy stuff like that. I'm just like getting used to with Ultra Hand. Like, mm-hmm. I don't know, just trying to find different ways to to create a moving vehicle is super cool. Like trying to create like a two wheeled vehicle or trying to create like a really small, nimble flying machine and just like yeah. experimenting with that and just going like, oh, just like flying left and right because you because you built it poorly or you built it with yep. one thing that's slightly <laughs> offset and it just sends you in one direction but like that that part of it like that trial and error it's pretty intuitive and it's really fun like it doesn't feel tedious like well, we we both of us now have like the auto build i don't yeah. really use it that much well because you you need like certain like zonai well you you only need those pieces if you don't have all the parts Oh, okay. Yeah. So if you if you if well, you are, are you sure? Because like I've I've got I've got the uh, I got the schematic for the like the flying you know the the the, the flyer with and it's got the three fans on it. Yeah. But I tried to like auto build it and it wouldn't do it. It said I, I needed like twelve of like these zoni pieces. But I had you all just the stuff. Take it all out of your inventory and put it on the ground. Oh, gotcha. Okay. And then that'll that'll do it without. Oh, okay. I thought it just did it all. Okay, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, that, that I mean like the auto build stuff, like as soon as I got that, I was like, dude, that's that's so cool. You could just be around pieces and be like, okay, this is what I want to make. You know, that's something that's like generally standard. And then you can also like if you make something really cool, it'll be saved into your like history. And you can and like you favor it in and stuff like that. So they thought of everything, man. Like it's it's Oh, there's just so many, I and mean, that's just. I mean, we we barely even scratch the surface of what we can, of what we can do, oh, and because yeah. like I haven't I haven't even gotten the ability to to use all or found where I can use all that stuff that I know that, that's in the game and and stuff that maybe that I don't know. Um, mm-hmm. But yeah, so, does that mean that you? So if you got auto build, that means you fought that boss. Yes, yes, very cool boss fight. Yeah, very Kel- very dumb. Kellen Kellen was watching me play, and he he was really enjoying wa- watching that fight. But um, yeah, I just you know you you use uh, we're not gonna I won't spoil anything, but yeah, you get to use the recall ability a couple times on him. Yep. Um, and then yeah, that it, it, it was such a dumb fight, but it was it was very it was very uh yeah. it was very fun. It, yeah. was, it was just a fun a fun time. And then did you did you go after that area, um, mm-hmm. and that person takes off in one direction did you go immediately i think to the left where there's like another like little hideout area and there's like there's like the 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 people um flying around there's one flying around and there's like one on a car going around the area and then there's one in the middle that's got like a motorcycle that you can uh get the schematic for did you do that no i didn't okay 
I don't think so. Okay. Have you gone underneath that area? No, uh, no, I didn't. Okay, that 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 was the quest I was talking about, but yeah, under, you should go underneath. Under, underneath the area where you get the auto build. Yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't know there was yeah. a area underneath. It opens up like a whole, a uh, pretty much a whole. Uh, I don't, I don't know if I want to like. It gives you a use for an item that you find in the depths. Oh, okay, cool. Like, yeah. Um. Yeah, the, the, the freaking depths. Oh my yeah. god, like. It, it's like the same it's it feels like the same depth as the sky islands are high yeah it's huge i don't know, I don't know how i don't know how nintendo did that man i don't know how that works and, and that's Maybe. that's where like people like that and that's where again like the whole 70 dollar dlc conversation is completely out the window because and I'm, I'm so surprised that this like this stuff didn't like leak or like they, they kept it so close to their chest because they were just focusing on okay you're going to the sky and that's it mm-hmm. but no there's there just for context, for people that don't know, the depths is the entire map of Hyrule underground. Yeah. And it's completely like, for, for the most part, like complete darkness. And you have to, there's like these little like seedling things that you to go find to kind of activate the light around it. But then it's still dark everywhere and you have to use, you know, these like glowing um, plants to, to kind of light your way and stuff. But. Dude, yeah. this game is huge, man. It's it's, it's crazy. It's, it's ridiculous how how large it is, and like I have all these like treasure treasure map markings yeah. down in the depths that I want to go find, but it, it just it's so big that it takes me a long time to even yeah. make any headway towards towards the next. Uh, do you want to switch over? Real quick? Yeah, let's go ahead and switch real quick. Okay, I am. I'm curious if there's a way to get out of the depths. Mm-hmm. You know, either from the way you came in or another way. Because I'm wondering, like, maybe that's how they did it with the development. Is like once you go through the depths, it it like unrenders the world above. Because like the only way to get out, as far as I know, is just to to fast travel. Yeah, I, there there was one there was one area or one part of the depth that I jumped down into. I can't remember where, but when I landed. Um, there was a construction for a hot air balloon, and if you had like the flame emitter, yeah. Well, I did have the flame emitter, but the, the, I think the hot air balloon ended up getting destroyed because it, it it took too long to get up. So, I, you know, I, that's a good question. Maybe, maybe and if you, you had the battery, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't know because the the hot air balloon doesn't require a battery. It's just, well, I guess it does, but but it ends. I mean, but it, it requires ended up, like your own your own charge. Yeah, you know? but I ended up getting. To a point where the the the, the, the tarp material or whatever um, burned out, like it, it it just it got destroyed, and then I just fell down in the basket. So I don't know. Oh, that that's, that that may be a good question. That that may be. Um, I'm sure someone will try to try to break it. Yeah, that, that maybe maybe how they can do it. I'm not I'm not quite sure. Yeah. But either way, the the depths are, yeah. are very cool. Yeah, well. I've explored maybe like one percent of it. <laughs> it yeah. just it's just it's just massive. It's crazy. Uh, I did today. I fought a familiar, difficult creature from Breath of the Wild, except he had like gloom armor that you had to knock off. What did you fight? We, we we can talk about it. I fought a Lionel. A Lionel. Okay, I was I was wondering yeah. if they were in the game or not. I yeah, figured they, yeah, I figured I they probably one. were, but I saw. Yeah, I found one in the overworld that that immediately killed me, and then I, I actually fought the one down in the depths, and, and that one had like the it had like the armor on. Yeah. That you had oh to wow. Knock off, but it was, cool. yeah, yeah. It, it aside from that, like it operated operated exactly how the the Lionels and Breath of the Wild did. Yeah. Same, you know, same combat mechanics there. Cool. Uh, Have you fought a yeah. Gliok yet? The three headed dragon thing. I attempted one like pretty early on. The one on the bridge, the fire one that's in the trailers. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I try. Yeah, I tried that one and it immediately burned me up, and I was like, yeah. ah, I'm not ready for this. I t- I tried to build, um, like a a cart that had like a the beam emitter. Yeah. Like the beam thing. And I tried to send that first, and it just <laughs> did nothing to him. So. <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, maybe I'll I'll try one again soon now that I have. A couple more hearts and yeah, I think I'm up to like six now, six hearts, and I think I upgraded <clears throat> upgrade my stamina once or twice, something like that. I think just once. Have you upgraded your energy cells any yet? 
No, I have not. Not not from what you've been been given. Okay. Yeah, I've, I've I have another like full cell now. At this point, it helps helps a lot. Oh yeah, yeah. Those battery packs are are super cool. Yeah. Um, have you done have you done any of the um the labyrinth stuff yet? No, no, I haven't. I okay. I did one of like the the spheres in the sky. Yeah. I did you one of those? Okay. Yeah, I haven't done I haven't done that one yet. <clears throat> yeah, those are pretty cool. And then yeah, I haven't done the labyrinth yet, but I I've done a, a few variations of like the and I I don't know if there's one in every like every region, but it's the the area in the sky where you have to deliver one of the the green yeah i did that one too yeah i did one of those yeah 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 i've done a couple of those so far okay sweet and they're all pretty cool like some of them you you literally have to build a flying machine to get it yeah like from a to b which is awesome yeah yeah i did i did one labyrinth um it was on the ground um oh okay so there is some on the ground yeah there there was one on the ground that you find Uh, but yeah, I found I found a labyrinth on the ground, um, and there was like a bunch of gloom like in it, and there was like a, a note from like an explorer that uh, he's like, if you follow this trail of pine cones, it'll lead you to the center, and then you do, um, and it, and it turns out it's just like a uh, a shrine that's in there, so I did the shrine and whatever, um, okay. and then it's like a, it said it unlocked a door in the sky, and I was like, okay, that's kind of cool, um, and then there was another lab a labyrinth directly above it in the sky that I ended up fi finding completed it. And it was like a really cool, um, you just had, you had to use like the paraglider and kind of find mm -hmm. these four different, uh, switches and activate it. And then you go to the very top of the labyrinth and then you have to dive down and you, and the way they line it is you dive from the top of the, the sky labyrinth and you go straight to, to, uh, through the other labyrinth and it takes you down into the depths and then, there, oh, and then there's like a there's like a boss fight um, that was a little bit too strong for me at the time, so I, I I stopped stopped there. But it was it was part of like a quest or whatever. But super cool, super cool you way did. they do that. Do you know what area that was in? The Hebrew re region, maybe. Okay, is, is that right? Hebra. Hebra. Hebra region. I think I think it was the Hebra region. I think. Okay. Yeah, I'll have to go check that out. Yeah, but yeah, I've been been bopping around to different. That's that's what Guiding I've been doing. Powers. I mean, honestly, like, yeah, you 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 plan a route from from A to B, and you just get sidetracked by everything, and it, and it's awesome because like yeah. it's, it's nothing that appears on your map. You know, it's nothing that that's like, oh, hey, you should go over here. It's like, oh, you see that? Yeah, and they, and they, 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 they had in Breath of the Wild, but just like the whole, you know, the whole um, map system there's nothing other than just like your designated markers like to tell you where to go for the quest there's nothing on there which i love so that's it's up to you to kind of clutter up your map whether yeah. it's you've got you know you pinpoint um because typically with me like if i see any shrines i'll use the the pinpoints um and put those in and then if i, if I come across a korok or something else like i'll i'll say okay this i want the leaf thing to be the korok and that's what i'm going to use going forward and then I'll, if I can't figure if I can't figure out the puzzle or something, I'll come back to it. Or maybe I see it in the distance, and I don't really feel like going over there. I'll I'll mark it um, with something. But yeah, yeah, it's just it's great. <laughs> it's I mean it's 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 awesome. Yeah, and like even the like the routine quests, like the Korok quests of of getting them to a certain des destination, or the guy with the signpost that keeps yep. falling down. Yeah, <laughs> like. <laughs> That stuff is just so fun because it, it's it's making you you like it's making you use your abilities in creative ways. Yep. And it it puts at least the Korok quest puts such an emphasis on traversal. Yeah. Which was like a really big part of Breath of the Wild, but in this game, like it, it's just expanded on so much that there's a million different ways to do one thing. Yeah. Like, I mean, there, I think there was a couple times where I just carried the the Korok too. Yeah. To, yeah, there wasn't to there do. wasn't anything around really for me to use, so I was like, you know, I'll just carry him, and you know, it takes a little bit longer, but it but it worked. So, yeah, yeah, just a huge emphasis on on traversal and and just being able to create and uh, whatever you want, yeah, create whatever you want, and yeah, 
Yeah, and, and the way it handles the Zonai materials is pretty cool too. Like yeah. where each of the um, little gotcha machines has like four different types of yeah. Zonai devices that come out of it. So, you know, if you if you do want like a fan, you you can you know to go to a specific yeah. machine and, and get it from there, and like, and you get those Zonai charges from from like the little. Uh, Soldier constructs and stuff. Oh, yeah, soldier yeah. constructs and that that kind of stuff. So it's a, it's a good it's a good cycle. Of like yeah, do combat, get the zonite charges, or or use your um your zonite and and buy zonite charges and then yeah. use those to get new materials. So like it's it's, it's plentiful. I guess like the use. only the gripe I have with that mechanic and also um I guess the cooking mechanic too, and I think it was the same way in, in Breath of the Wild. I mm. wish like once you were there, I wish you could just press A and just go into your inventory and, and let it roll instead of having to go into your inventory, hold it, which you can only hold five at a time, mm. and then and then go back out and put them into the, the either the cooking pot or into the gotcha thing. Like I feel like it could be a little bit more, you know, streamlined if they just allowed you to just do them all at once. But I mean, very very small, right? Yeah, I mean that that's kind of like my biggest complaint so far is that they I feel like they could have streamlined the cooking a little bit more than just adding recipes. Yeah. because uh, like I, I'm at the point now where I'll I'll just spend ten minutes cook it like just cooking a bunch of stuff. Yeah. That way I don't have to, to keep on cooking. Like, you know, keep on cooking every every fifteen or twenty minutes when I find a um like a little cook site. Yeah. Side. Which I mean, have you gotten have you gotten the uh the cooking pot from for the Zonai? Like where you can just put one out? Yeah, yeah, I have it, but it, I mean it's only one use, right? Yeah, one use, but you don't have to do anything. It's just you strike it and it and it turns it on. Okay. I haven't used it yet. Yeah. I've only used it I think once or twice. Okay. Yeah, I mean that it's cool that it exists. Yeah. I mean it, it would probably be good in a pinch, like if you're you know, in a in a very cold region or something, and you needed to, yeah, <clears throat> to, to make you know some sort of elixir or something. Yeah, but yeah, <laughs> I mean, I spent all this time in this game, and I've, I've I feel like I've barely even touched the surface of like the story stuff. Yeah, I mean, I haven't. Like, I've, I've I just I just now got to the Rito Village, and that's like okay, first, so you're in Rito first. Yeah, that's the first um one that I've I've gone to since since meeting mm-hmm. meeting up with Impa and her telling you where to go. Um, did yeah. she did she tell you to go to Rito first? Um, or did she point you in that direction? I can't remember. I think I think the quest does. Like I think it tells you there's something else that, or, or uh, maybe Zelda was spotted, you know, at oh yeah the Rito okay. thing or something like that. So I just yeah. I just ended up going there first. But um, yeah, excited to kind of dive into the actual like story content of the game. But it's been so much fun just messing around with everything ah, it's been so a blast. far been a blast just discovering just discovering new things discovering caves yeah and you know yeah. I, have, I mean i haven't played breath of the wild really since 2017 so it, it all feels like really brand new to me but going back to the places that i remembered is really cool yeah. you know going back to the great plateau and going back to the, you know the shrine of resurrection and stuff like that where it all started um you know yeah it's, it's really awesome. cool you know maybe someone wouldn't feel that same way if, they, if they've been playing you know pretty consistently over the last six years or so but um yeah i mean it feels it feels really good to come back to yeah like uh, like other than the big locations like the dueling peaks and um death mountain yeah things like that like for me it might as well be a new map yeah (laughs) a lot of it i I, is pretty unfamiliar yeah because it's been so long since i played it like there's there's enough reshuffling of of the areas that that it, it does feel extremely fresh and then yeah. that along with the depths in the sky islands like this game is easily three times as big yeah and I, and I really haven't even been to the sky islands that much since leaving yeah um but i mean we haven't talked about it yet but like the sky view towers is like a super cool yeah. like epic little <laughs> thing you get to do where you you know you go go to this like the new sheikah towers you, you know you go in mm-hmm. and you you get like thrown up into the air, um, and you in Link automatically scans the area with his um, uh, pura pura pad. Um, yeah. So you get like a side of the land, and then 
you get the freedom to to let go and go where you want. Or, you know, if you see something on the map or something you want to go to, you could you could head that way. Yeah. Um, I mean, chances you... are. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. I was just gonna say, chances are when you when you you know launch up, you're you're gonna find a Sky Island like pretty close. To yeah, yeah, your yeah. Sandy, which is cool. Yeah, they're, they're yeah they're all, they're usually pretty close. Um, yeah. Sorry, what were you gonna say? Um, have you done any of the hieroglyph stuff yet? To see mm. any of the Zola's yeah, yeah. memories? I've, I've done three so far. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, it, it, cutscenes are great, man. Yeah. Um, so yeah. The, yeah, this is like the the games where or this game's versions of like the memories that you find. Yeah. Um, it, I think they're a bit cooler. I think they're. I think so. Yeah. A bit more interesting than than the memories. Um, just because like. Uh, well, it's just because it's it's your it's your Zelda. Yeah, I mean it's it's it, yeah it's I don't want to spoil anything, but yeah, it's it's your you know it's it's like relatively recent, right? It's not yeah. years and years in the past. Yeah, it's not a hundred years in the past, so where like everybody yeah. in the scene is dead <laughs> or something like that, yeah, you know. Yeah. So um, it feels more like a cutscene than yeah. Than those did, but it's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying those those so far. I think I think I've done like three or four now. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it's just I'm I'm so excited to see what what's in store for us with, with just just the uh the you know the um the main story alone and all the cool stuff that there there is like I know there's monster yeah. raids and stuff like that from the from the treehouse event um mm-hmm. so yeah I'm, I'm super excited I, f- I finally found a rocket and attached it to my shield and shot up in the air oh dude it's epic it's super super it's awesome so cool. I um after I did the the that fight in the depths. Um, and I was going on over to the little hideout area. Mm-hmm. Um, there was like one of those spring zone eye pieces. So I attached it to my shield and I was like, Kellen, look at this. And I jumped up in the air and boinged up. And uh, wait, how did did you like go on? Like you did the shield surf thing? Yeah. Yeah. You could do that. Yeah. I didn't know you could do that. Yeah. You, you do the shield surf thing. He jumps down. Um, and it gets sprung up in the air and then it, and then it gets destroyed and then it's just your shield, but it's like, you know, it's like an extra little boost you get to jump. That's cool. Yeah. Have you, have you done the mine cart thing where you get to like surf on the mine cart? Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah I've d- not okay. the, I didn't do the mine cart. I just did like the regular like zone eye cart. Okay. Yeah. 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 Just, yeah, yeah. Same thing. I think same thing, yeah. I've been using that for, for traversal. Yeah. Super cool. Yeah. Yeah. And that you can like the fact that you can grind on the, the mine cart rails yep. is so awesome yeah, like they awesome. really they really thought of everything yeah for this game and, and just thought of like hey how can how can i make this part of the game fun and that's yeah. and, that, and again that's that's what we were talking about earlier it's just it's just fun it's dumb fun and like you know it's not trying to be anything that it's not it's just mm. here's a bunch of awesome tools and if you think you could if you think up an idea you could probably do it you know yeah. it may not it may not be as intended you know Hey, I, I mean, I, I've done some shrines, probably not the way you should yeah. at this point. Yeah, there's been there, yeah, there's been quite a few that I've done that I did not do. Have you come across the fire and ice shrine? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did that one. Yep. Okay, how did you how did you do that one? Uh, okay, so that's that's the one where there's like the the you go into into the immediately to the right. There's like the fire coming down, and there's like an ice block right to the left. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So I, I took that. I took that ice block, put it in the fire so it can go small enough to unlock the door because you have to put it like on that little pressure plate. Are we on the is same? It, is, is and there, then, wait. Uh, on on the other side, is there another box that gets caught on fire? You need to put that one in the water to prevent it from burning. Like when you walked in, there's like there may be another fire and ice shrine then because okay. I think yeah okay. the one the one I'm talking about I think is a little bit different. This one there was no water. Um, okay. Yeah. Yeah. This one. Had, okay. Had, yeah. I mean, just the shrines cool. are so much better in this game. They're all they're all just super fun. Yeah. There's there's not like your standard like combat shrines anymore. I mean, there are, there are some like tutorial shrines. Uh, I've I've come across a couple of combat ones now. But like but, ones but like they did, but they did they did feel like tutorials like. Yeah. Um. One was yeah, one was showing me how. Yeah. The, one was showing me how to throw throw mm-hmm. weapons. Um. There was. There was one combat shrine that I found that it stripped me away of all my weapons and stuff. Yeah. 
and I had to just use what I could find. Um, was that the one in the dark? No, no, that was a different one. Yeah. So yeah, there's there's more than one of those, but oh, yeah. Um, yeah, there's there's just so much so much variety. Like, yeah, I think I think my favorite ones so far are the ones where you've got to grind on the rails with like platforms and and make your way because you can do those kind of differently. But oh, for sure. Like there was one where, where the it, it was a ball, it was a ball one, but you have to get up to the ball, and there was this this two piece grind rail that went up. So I was like, well, how do you how do you get up there? So what I did was was make a platform. I used Ultra Hand and pushed it all the way to the top, let it slide down, then used Recall, yes. got on it, and then it took me it to the top. <laughs> like, <laughs> Dude, recall, recall is like a sneaky good ability. It it, it really useful. is. Yeah, it's super cool. Because like, and if you didn't know this either, if you if you if you've got a like a um the wing, and you don't have a way to launch it off a platform. If, what if, what you can do is you you take Ultra Hand, put it up in the air, bring it back down, and and after you've put your fans and stuff on there, jump on Recall, so that way you're up in the air. You hit stop, and then your fans will shoot you off. Huh. So okay, <laughs> that way yes. you're up you're up in the air, cool. and it gives you you don't necessarily have the momentum, but as soon as you if you if you strike the fans. And then hit stop on the recall. You'll be up in the air floating, and the fans will activate, and it'll give you the momentum to get off the edge. Wow, that's genius! Yeah, super, super cool. I never thought about that. Super I, cool. Yeah, I, yeah. I struggled with a couple of those in the in the Sky Island, just trying to get it to work without yeah having a launch pad. Yeah, huh. and then once you get like the um the handle, like the steering and handle, or whatever, like that's super cool and fun oh, yeah. to use. That opens up a lot of stuff too. Yeah, yeah. Which I, I, I haven't I haven't found uh, a gotcha machine that has those to get, so I don't know if you. Can, I'm sure you can, but I haven't there, gotten one yet. One. Okay, okay. I think I found one. Okay, I haven't got one yeah. yet, but um, yeah, <laughs> it's just it's crazy, dude. I can't wait to just keep exploring and and, and yeah. doing crazy stuff, and just I, all the all the TikToks that I've seen. Like this one guy, he made, <laughs> of course, he, you know, he made a dick and balls, um, <laughs> and he and he was fighting a, a Hinox. And what he would do is he would just he would use oh, he would use Ultra Hand and he would float it around the Hinox, you know, as it's coming towards them, and then recall it, and it was just the dick just smacking, smacking him in the face. And then the, and then the the death blow was like kind of like the the dick balls like it's like a a penetration of his ass. <laughs> Dude, it's oh my gosh, man! It's it's exactly what it's exactly what I wanted out of just social media. It's just seeing yeah. all the hilarious stuff. Oh man, it's <sighs> it's perfect. It's such a good time. Oh, dude. Such stupidity yeah. can come out of this game. Like, I cannot wait to see what people are doing with this a year from now. Like, what yeah. they're building. I saw someone build a three phase, like, rocket launch, like a, like a literal rocket launch where, like, it launches, a piece separates, another piece launches, separates, and then it, like, ended with Link doing the shield rocket. And yeah. Up in the air. That's so epic, dude. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Well, dude, the, one, then, the one TikTok you did was like, Dude, I was just like, oh my! I, I was getting so like, I'm nervous, but like antsy the entire. I was like, oh my god, he's like keeps twirling around. Uh, talking about yours, oh, yeah. like the wing, yeah. whatever. And then you ended up like making it or whatever. But Barely I was like, it. oh my god, dude, this game is insane, and and my, I'm so excited to see how like how high you can go. You know, once you got yeah. get the you know deeper into the game, like how high? Like, what's the limit? Like, what's is there like a, a top? you know, island that you have to get to? Is that, like, the end game? Or, you know, mm-hmm. what is it, right? Um, and then yeah, I've seen like people right make now, giant bridges to already get to, Gan- to get Gandor to the Hyrule Castle, whatever. <sighs> it's just crazy. Oh, uh, yeah. Can you not just dive? I guess you can. Yeah, I guess I you can. Yeah, you, you probably could. Um, yeah. I haven't tried, but... Yeah, I haven't, I haven't tried going there aside from, you know, the first story mission yeah but oh have you done the like the diving challenge up in the air mm. it's, it's like you know there's like big like circular structures mm-hmm. that are kind of like disconnected in the air mm-hmm. you go check one of those out because you can get okay. a pretty cool some pretty cool like armor and gear is that the one with like the lasers and stuff there might be a variation. Okay, okay. With those, I saw that in the trailer, but I, th- I think that might be an entrance to a te- uh, to a dungeon. Um, but yeah, 
yeah, dude, this game is this game is crazy. There's, like it's, there's there's so much like it's, it's crazy that we've both played as much as we have so far, and like we're different stuff. Yeah, yeah, it's like a completely different experience. I mean, because I've only unlocked like maybe four, maybe five um, Skyview towers. So I mean, there's still a lot of areas that I haven't, um, you know, done yet uh, or even been to. Yeah, so, yeah, this game is this game is huge. I mean, I'm I'm already loving it more than Breath of the Wild, which is insane yeah, to think about. Cause, but yeah, I mean, it makes it really makes Breath of the Wild feel like a, like a tech demo. Yeah, like there, there's really no reason to go back to Breath of the Wild after yeah. this, unless you really miss the cryo, like cryosis mechanic, or you really miss. Well, spacing. see, I, did, I didn't really love all that stuff either. Like the, the, like the bomb, like having like the bomb was pretty cool, but like the ice, the ice block and stuff, like I didn't necessarily love it. I didn't love that one. It was more um, of like a utility thing. Than, yeah, than like I, I did like Rivali's cool. Gale, um, being able to like launch you up like that. That, that was pretty cool, and then mm-hmm. Urabosa's Ur- Ur- um, fury with like the lightning and stuff like that was that was a pr- that was a pretty cool power, but yeah, yeah. Um, Man, all are, are all, all the stuff just feels Breath of the Wild, right? <laughs> <laughs> all the all the abilities just feel like I'm using them all the time. Where when, when in Breath yeah. of the Wild, I didn't use them all the time. I, you know, you use them when you had to. Or yeah, and they, and they all have you know they all had cooldowns and stuff like this. You can just you can just use. That, yeah, it's true. As much as you want, and like, and, and to be honest, like the fuse, like I probably use that one the least. It's just, it's like sometimes I'll forget about it, and like I'll forget, like because mm-hmm. I'll I'll go to pick up a weapon, and I'm like, oh, you know, I, my inventory is full, so I'll just like leave it alone. But then I'm like, wait, let me let me just fuse it with something. Yeah, like that. That one's a little bit more so utility. Like, yeah. Okay, I'm going into a big boss. I'm going to pull out these these monster parts that I've that I've accumulated, and I'm going to fuse them with with a couple of weapons. Well, see, I don't think I don't think I, I don't think I've fused anything with the monster part yet. Like, um, like any of the hor- like the hor- like monster horns or anything like that. Hinox. I don't think so. So you just you just drop it on the ground and then and then fuse it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Does it like change? Like I mean, does it like like does it physically look any different, or does it just add like a buff? Yeah, it physically looks different. Okay, okay. I mean, I've, I've used like like the bow and arrow, like you, you know, using stuff like that. Like I've used that. that that's pretty cool. But mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. There's a lot of good like fuse combinations with okay. the monster parts. You pr- you probably have a ton. Yeah, in your inventory that you can use. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure I do. But yeah, the yeah. game the game just feels fun to play. I mean, it it does it does take a little bit to use, get used to everything because like every mm-hmm. single button on that controller is being used Dumb in at least two that. different ways. Um, yeah. and, and there's been time, you know, there's been times where I'm still playing and like I'm like trying to switch to another weapon. I'm like, crap! Like, what is the okay? Here's the button. So it, it's a lot. I mean, it's a lot, a lot of different combinations you're you're clicking and stuff. But mm-hmm. man, it just. But once it clicks, yeah, once it clicks, like it's it feels incredible. Yeah, it feels so good. So. And did, did you know that when you're in Ultra Hand, you can you can reset the axis? I just yeah. found this out yesterday. Yeah, you hold but, like R or whatever. Yeah, like ZL. I think ZL is it's like reset it. Oh, I didn't know that. That's that's actually pretty like handy. If, like, it, like if it gets off axis, and you're like, how do I get it back to ninety degrees or one? Yeah. Like you can just press ZL, and it'll. Oh, okay. It'll 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 like lock it to the nearest uh, ninety degree. Or 40, gotcha. Yeah, 90 degree okay. Time. Yeah, there, there's been a couple times where it's like kind of crooked and i'm like oh, i'm trying to spin it to the right spot but then i'm like you know what? let me just drop it let it fall flat and then i'll pick it up again that that's yeah. that's that's good to know that that's that's a good tip good tip yeah a lot of they, they thought of everything man yeah looks that, that oh, 70 dollar dlc thought of everything and i oh my god today i i i built this four, uh, four-wheeled machine and this is down the depths because I was yeah. just going around and collecting the the Poe droplets. Yeah. And I put uh it was like a Zonai honing homing machine that'll that'll hone in home in on enemies, and then I put the beam on top of that so it would like lock in, lock onto enemies and shoot them. And I would just drive around, drive around these encampments and just yeah. let, just let my car just unleash <sighs> so cool. fury. And then there's this this other Zonai device that you set it on the ground and you put like a flamethrower or something on top of it yeah. and you hit it 
and it'll just go towards the nearest enemy. Oh my gosh. Attack those. So like there's like such cool stuff of like That's you so can awesome. basically create like a little army and, and raid a, a camp with your with all your Zonai devices. So That's crazy. So cool. Oh. Have you, did you see the one TikTok of like the guy who's like <laughs> When, when it's like something like um Hyrule's Hyrule needs saving or something like that from from Ganondorf, but I'm a trucker and I've got a I've got to deliver this wood or something. He made like a freaking like like a big wheel truck and like put a bunch of uh trees in the back and was driving around. <laughs> it's like, like, my God, dude! Oh man, <sighs> I, I've had some, I've had some pretty dumb moments where I've like set my set my car on fire accidentally. Yeah. Or, just broke it from hitting it like immediately broke it after spending five minutes building something, like, something and, the, and one, one more gripe i have with the, with the building is there's been a couple of times where especially like in the sky where i built a like a wing like a flying thing saved mm-hmm. the game and then used said flying machine and it and it broke or something happened and i reloaded it and it doesn't save what you created it's say it like Oh, it doesn't. Yeah, it'll 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 put you back where you were when you saved, but your creation will be gone. Um, so that, that's kind okay. of a bummer. So, like, yeah, if you're if you go in expecting this piece to be saved, you know, it it won't be. Now, granted, you know, if you I guess if you have the histories, maybe maybe that maybe that helps with that, but it won't it won't be constructed when you reload your save, which kind of sucks. You know, I did notice that because I built I built like a trap cage and. I sent it down a hill and I went to go do something else and I came back and it was gone. Yeah. I think if you're, if you're too far away from your, from your build, then it might disappear. Okay. And that's probably just like a system memory cache thing. Pop. Yeah, um, probably. Cause like, if you had a bunch of those lying around in the world, it would probably overload the game. Oh, I'm sure. So I'm, I, sure. I'm assuming that's why, but yeah. Yeah. I mean, that, that's like, you know, you can kind of see the the limitations of the system a little bit. Yeah, but I, I haven't I haven't run into any limitations on what I can build or how many pieces I can put on something, and that that's pretty cool. Yeah, like it seems like that part is it like it doesn't have a barrier. Yeah, at all. Which is, I mean, we we we've seen we've seen the results of a lack of a barrier already <laughs> with the super long logs and all that stuff yeah <laughs> yeah dude I'm, I'm just like i'm just blown away by this game i knew i'm like yeah. I, we already knew it was going to be amazing i mean i i don't know why anybody ever had a doubt i mean the sequel to one of the greatest games of all time and they are they're adding these incredible crafting mechanics there there should be no shadow of a doubt but you know there there was for people but yeah. i mean i'm mm. just i'm just blown away i mean i even think the game looks great i mean it's got some texture issues on some parts but like i think it looks i think yeah, it looks, looks beautiful I think, I think it looks better than breath of the wild <laughs> yeah it does it does it's definitely sharper um yeah yeah and especially like when you're like in the green fields and stuff like it just it just the color really yeah. pops in the sky islands too like the yeah. golden the golden grass looks really really good yeah like i, I, I can see why they went with that because it's just such a yeah. such a pretty color yeah, I, I'm just, yeah, I'm just again, just blown away by it, and like all the creativity and just if you can, if you can dream it, you can do it. <laughs> and like, if anyone's worried about like, oh, like I'm not creative enough for this game, or or you know, it's gonna harp on creative mechanics too much. Like, the game presents to you the tools yeah. to build whatever you need to build. It'll yeah. make it very abundantly obvious that that you need to build this thing. So like it's not like you're having a rack your brain of like oh like what could I possibly build to get me from A to B yeah it's 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 laying out right there yeah you know it's yeah every, every, all the parts are laying out like yeah. you know you could you can any of the shrines like you can like those, those make you think a little bit mm-hmm. a lot of them are pretty or a lot of them the one the ones I've come across are pretty basic and that's you know that's understanding um it just kind of teaches you the mechanics but I don't know but just what you can create is like and that those like endless possibilities is what really excites me for for all that stuff so and just and just see what other people create because I'm, I'm not the most creative person in the world and i've seen some crazy stuff already that i wouldn't have thought of yeah. and i'm like i want to do that um yeah yeah and you can. It's, it's really just inspiring us to to try more things like seeing other people do like these 
yeah these, these crazy crazy machines and crazy creations yeah i mean a game where i can spend like an hour just putting together one piece of you know one one like crafting one vehicle or something like i just i love that stuff yeah and and you're doing it for no other reason than it just being fun to do yeah but like can can this work can yeah, can i can put can i construct this together um and, and make it work and mm-hmm. you probably can <laughs> yeah really like i i haven't been told no by the game yet yeah and i think that's really cool like I've seen, I saw one that was like kind of messed up, but it was like, it was a uh, someone had made like a like a, a pretty standard like flying vehicle, but he attached the the Korok to it, and he was he was uh he took it up into the air, and he jumped off, and he's like Korok's hitting tower one, and it smashes. Oh God! <laughs> I was like, oh my God! Like, what is up with these people and like wanting to just murder the like? And you're granted, you can't kill the Koroks, but no, but they they react them. to you hitting them. Uh, which is hilarious. Yeah, I mean, just like they did in, in Breath of the Wild, yeah. but it's just it's funnier now that you, you can, can launch them, you can send them just as far as you want. And then, like always, every time I like I pick up a rock and there's a cork underneath it, I just chuck it at him. He's like, "Ouch!" <laughs> yeah, super fun. So someone made a like a rotisserie. I did see like that. Six Koroks on. Oh my god! <laughs> How did you get that many Koroks in one area? Exactly. Like yeah. maybe there's like a, a yeah. I don't know. I don't know. There's like a Korok city or something. Yeah, I, I don't know. All right, well, I think that's going to wrap up um, the Zelda talk and uh, and the show. We'll we'll be back next week with more Zelda talk. Just just be ready for more Zelda talk and less. Well, uh, we'll we'll see about next week. We're not sure yet. Yeah, because you'll you'll be in um, Vietnam, but um, yeah, maybe if we don't do it next. Well, I guess you can always do it. First. I can send you some uh, some thoughts if you want to like yeah. talk about dungeons or anything like that yeah we'll, we'll see we, we may take next week off it, it just kind of it just depends um mm-hmm. we'll, we'll 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 see but but def- definitely if not next week the week after which we'll have tons to talk about then right uh, but yeah just we'll kind of just kind of kind of the way we did with Elden ring because you know Elden ring is obviously a different yeah. game but similar in structure where you know it's just freedom to explore yeah. so we're going to take it on that way where we'll you know we talked about early game stuff this week next week next time we have a show be kind of like middle middle game stuff maybe if, even if we're even at that part yet just but we'll talk about more mm-hmm. deeper story stuff if we, if we want to and bring it up so just just keep that in mind when you guys listen but, but yeah just really just gonna talk about our adventures and what we what we've been yeah. doing <laughs> i mean that's that's that was the fun part about owner ring yes yeah. you know swapping stories yeah I, I found this cave and fought this crazy monster or found mm-hmm. this cool really cool piece of you know armor or sword or something like that so yeah that's pretty much what we'll be doing with this. Yeah. It's it's so funny. Like after playing Elden Ring, I was I was like, man, going back to Breath of the Wild is gonna be weird with yeah. how open this game is. And now I'm playing Tears of the Kingdom, and I'd be like, man, it'd be kind of weird to get back to Elden Ring after. Yeah, it's just like oh, we need we need these <laughs> we need these crazy mechanics in Elden Ring now. Yeah. Uh, any, any last any final thoughts on um, Zelda? No, I just I hope everyone's having as yeah. much fun as we are. Exactly. Yeah. I I want to I want to see all of your creations. So if you make anything crazy, uh, tag us. Tag yeah. us on Twitter. Yeah. Yeah. Sweet. All right, guys. Well, we will see y'all. Um, maybe maybe next week, maybe not, but definitely the week after, and we'll we'll talk some more Zelda and then whatever whatever helps happens in the uh the old good old gaming news, but uh. Games. hope everyone has a good week hope keep enjoying keep enjoying zelda and if you haven't played it yet maybe we, if we convince you to get it just do it just, just get do it. it just, just get do it, it. Don't it's, it's super it. fun it. yeah it's definitely fun all right guys well we'll see y'all next time bye-bye bye-bye